Today we will learn how to factor quadratics in the form ax squared plus bx plus c when a is equal to 1. So for example, if we have x squared plus 12x plus 32. So in factoring this x squared plus 12x plus 32, we need to set up the diamond or the, the x basically. So the top is the product of a and c. So a is 1. It's just x squared so that means a is 1 and your c is 32. So that means we're looking for two numbers whose product is 32 and a sum of 12. Again, two numbers that multiplies to 32 and adds up to 12. What are those two numbers? Yes, 8 and 4. Because if you multiply 8 times 4, that's 32. And when you add them, it's 12. So the factors will be x plus 8 times x plus 4. And you could do distributive property to get to x squared plus 12x plus 32. So you can do x multiplied by x, that's x squared, x times 4, you get 4x. Now you distribute 8 with x, that's 8x, and then we have 32. So if you want to check, same thing as x squared plus 4x plus 8x plus 32. Combining like terms, you will get x squared. This can be combined, so that's plus 12x, and we have plus 32 which is the same thing as the original quadratics. Again, product of 32 and a sum of 12. So we're using two numbers, 8 and positive 4. All right, let's have example 2. x squared minus 10x plus 24. Here, we need product of 24 and this time a sum of negative 10. So what are the two numbers that multiplies to 24 and adds up to negative 10? What do you think? Yeah, so it's negative 6 and negative 4. So negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. And when you add them, it's negative 10. So the factors are x minus 6 and x minus 4. Try this next problem. x squared minus 4x minus 12. What's the product? Negative 12. Sum, negative 4. So we need two numbers that multiplies to negative 12 and adds up to negative 4. So that means we need one negative and one positive so that we will get a product of a negative answer. And the numbers are negative 6 times 2. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. When you add them, it's negative 4. So the factors are x minus 6 and x plus 2. Alright, next example. x squared minus x minus 72. In this problem, What's the B value? Negative 1. A is positive 1, B is negative 1, and C is negative 72. So that means we need a product of negative 72 
and a sum of negative 1. So the numbers that we're using are negative, eight, uh, negative 9 rather, and positive 8. So negative 9 times positive 8 is negative 72. When you add them, it's negative 1. So x minus 9 and then x plus 8. Question 5. We have 3x squared plus 21x plus 36. When factoring, always ask yourself, is there a GCF, greatest common factor? So if you look at the three terms, 3x squared, 21x, and 36, what is the GCF? Yes, it is 3. So since the GCF is 3, we need to factor out first the 3 and find that terms inside the parentheses. So if you have a 3, we need to multiply that by x squared to get x squared. We need to multiply 3 by 7x to get 21x. And we need to multiply 3 by 12 to get 36. So now we have 3 parentheses x squared plus 7x plus 12. So what do you think is the final answer? Keep the 3, same procedure as questions 1 through 4. We need product of 12 and a sum of 7. So two numbers that multiplies to 12 and adds up to 7. Yes, you're right. We're thinking of the numbers 3 and 4. So that means we will have x plus 3 and x plus 4. What if the a value of the quadratics is not equal to 1? For example, 12x squared plus 35x minus 3. If you're doing guess and check for this problem, it's going to take a while because 12 has a lot of factors. You can use 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. So there's more possibilities. So I think this method is better to use. Again, we need to use the product of 12 and negative 3. So a is 12 and uh, negative 3, so that's negative 36. And we need the sum of 35. So two numbers that multiplies to negative 36 and adds up to 35 is 36 times negative 1. So now, we will be using this 36 and negative 1 in setting up four terms. Take a look closely. Instead of 35x, I will be replacing that 35x with 36x and negative 1x. So, I will keep 12x squared. Instead of 35x, I will write down 36x, negative 1x, and the negative 3. So these four terms is exactly the same thing with this trinomial. Now I can do factoring by parts. First group, second group. For the first group, look for GCF. So the GCF is 12x. And in that first group, if you factor out the GCF 12x, inside the parentheses will be x plus 3. Because if you will do distributive property, that's 12x squared, that's 36x. For the second group, what's the GCF? Negative 1x minus 3 we can take out the GCF negative 1 outside the parentheses. And that becomes x because negative 1 times x will give you negative 1x. What's this term right here? Negative 1 times what number gives you negative 3? Be careful, that's a common mistake when factoring up. This should be positive 3. And you should notice one thing in these parentheses. 
that x plus 3 is common to both groups. So the final answer will be x plus 3 multiplied by 12x minus 1. Let's have a second example. Four x squared minus three x minus seven. So the same thing, step one is set up the product and sum. The sum is negative three. The product is negative 28, not negative seven. You need to multiply the A value, 4, and the C value, negative 7. So 4 times negative 7 is negative 28, and we need the sum of negative 3. So what are the two numbers that we need that will give you a product of negative 28 and a sum of negative 3? Yes, we will be using negative 7 times positive 4. So that's the first part. You need to set up the diamond method. Next, we are ready to set up four terms. Instead of negative 3x, I will be replacing negative 3x with negative 7x and 4x. So 4x squared minus 7x plus 4x, but I want to rearrange them that way I can easily get the GCF. So I'm going to write down 4x minus 7x instead of writing negative 7x plus 4x. That way you can easily get the GCF for the first group and the second group. So first group, second group. The GCF for the first group is 4x. So we will have x plus 1 inside the parentheses. The second group, the GCF is negative 7, so I need to write down minus 7. And you have x plus 1, not x minus 1. So the final answer will be x plus 1. That's common to both groups. And the outside terms are 4x and minus 7. So I need to write down 4x minus 7. So again, when you're setting up the product and sum, make sure you multiply the a and the c value, negative 28, and adds up to negative 3. So using those negative 7 and a positive 4 from the trinomial, you need to write four terms. First group, find the GCF. Second group, find the GCF. And then from there, you can write the final answer in simplest form.